Hi, Dick Rochford here, pilot trainer for the PA-46. Currently flying uh, November 566 Mike Alpha. It's a, uh, an Avidyne-equipped Meridian. That, of course, has the PT-6-42A 500 shaft horsepower engine. A beautiful ride, very smooth, very comfortable. And one of the things that I hear often is, well, you know, that's too much airplane for me. I, um, I fly Saratoga or Bonanza, and, uh, and this just isn't true. I, I realize it seems like a lot, but when you consider that it's really easier to fly than just about anything that you might have flown in a piston fleet, uh, you come to a appreciate point nine eleven contact New York one three correction one two four point six two. Turn him down a little bit. Two four six two Kogan forty nine eleven. The Meridian is particularly simple to fly because it has only one lever, really, to speak of once the engine's running. And uh, and so, with about a half a dozen pitch power configurations, we can very easily keep you uh, uh, in the confines of the airplane. Good training is really uh, what it takes, and it's a matter of... Uh, 66 Mike Alpha, contact New York, 132.2. Uh, 32.2, 6 Mike Alpha, so long. Radios here. At 32.2. Give that a try. Oh, center southwest, 2280. Go on at 430 radios. 30.7, up 250. Equitus now, but uh, we got a we'll calm radio and nav radio, and of course, a GPS over here, which is quite nice. Hey, good evening, center. It's Malibu Correction Meridian, 566 Mike Alpha, uh, 14000. 566 Mike Alpha, New York, all similar, 2981. Thank you. Two nine or eight one. So don't worry, it, we don't know the difference between the Meridian and the Malibu anyway. <laughs> yeah, the Meridian's a turbine, two sixty knots, and the other is a, a lowly piston, two hundred knots. So, so even the controllers are confused by it, and now then with the jet prop and the fleet, it gets yeah, even 37, 33, more complicated. 33, 33, but uh, the turbine pilots should be filing uh, Papa 46 Tango Slant Golf instead of Papa Alpha 46 uh, Slant Golf. Anyway, a lot of the new pilots don't know that, and the confusion continues. Uh, but the, the Meridian's really easy to fly. It's uh, uh, got a lot of redundancy. Send to maintain five zero one. And you can say that again. It's got uh, a big PFD primary flight display with all the information that's fit to print. And then over here we have a, a very capable MFD multifunction display with map and radar and terrain and charts and trip data, including weather, nearest information, auxiliary stuff, and engine data. It just doesn't get any easier. And I realize it's a lot of information. But uh, like my first flight instructor told me, it, it's, um, it seems all confusing because you don't know where to look. And the instruction is there to tell you what to look at when. And that then makes you a confident, competent pilot using tactical, practical methods. So I really encourage you, if you have any interest at all in upgrading, to consider the Meridian. They're excellent value right now and uh, will continue to be so. Anyway, um, flight level 280 ain't bad on a night like tonight. Got a little tailwind going, and uh, all's right with the world. Of course, it's pressurized. Has a uh, full ice, Fiki flight into known icing certification. And uh, it's air conditioned for your flying comfort. Well, this is Dick Rochefort. I'm having a good time. I hope you are. I want you to enjoy the rest of your day and think carefully about owning a fine airplane like the Meridian. Fly safely. Train off. <laughs>